I woke up on Monday with a huge headache and I knew that that was an indication to my body that I needed to relax a bit and so I did exactly that. Um, I slowed down and allowed myself to get lots of cuddles from the kids. Um, they prayed with me, they gave me medicine, they checked my temperature and it felt amazing. I still had my computer and my phone close by just in case something came that I needed to pay quick attention to. But um, I spent most of that day in my bed. On Tuesday morning, I woke up feeling so much better. I actually had a talk with students of anatomy at Cavendish University. Over 60 students showed up from all over the world and it was such an amazing experience with Professor Leeds. Um, I also had a breakfast meeting with my childcare team and there I am having my toasted bread and almond milk cocoa tea. <laughs> And then lastly, I also had a meeting with a potential client. I can't wait to start working with them. I hope this relationship is as amazing as I hope it will be. The rest of my day was at my desk working on proposals for the cradle. What have you made? Cake. Cake. Cake, Cake in a microwave. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. It has chocolate. Coconut mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. mint. Nice. How does it taste? Tastes very nice. Mm? You want to taste? Yeah, I want to taste, guys. Look at this. Like, doesn't that look amazing? Who of you want a recipe? Blake <laughs> and Bianca can hook you up. <laughs> My morning started with the unboxing of bed sheets that I received from Winnie's store and beddings and I absolutely love them. The day continued with a meeting and then had with my customer service team now which I'm doing all the time with all of my teams every morning for the period of the lockdown. The rest of the day had me doing even more proposals and a lot of work for the cradle. This is what I'm having for dinner. This is the lettuce. I've got brown rice, I've got liver, and I've got um, groundnut sauce. Ooh and so I'm going to wrap it up nicely and have it like a wrap. Okay, so I can't wrap it because my, I'm recording with my hands. So I'll show you what it looks like when I finish wrapping it my wraps looks like this is the first one this is the second and this is the third and then i already ate the fourth um <laughs> but these are what my wraps look like so this helps me have entire leaves of vegetables in my um in my diet and i think it's a pretty cool trick i do this with um, lettuce i do it with cabbage i just put the food that i like inside there and i treat it like a wrap and yeah it it tastes good try it <laughs> thursday started off and continued with my usual thursday meetings like as if i'd not had enough meetings through the week i had my usual cradle meeting with the management team i had the usual brand meeting i had my usual bump love meeting i also had my usual early childhood meeting so it was a really pretty packed day on friday unfortunately i didn't record much except for the children's movie night so enjoy
hey guys good morning it's a beautiful saturday morning and today is my brand shoot <laughs> i'm so excited because i was fearing that this wouldn't happen and that would mean that it would pop completely disorganize me um but we've found ways to do stuff i've done my own makeup <laughs> i miss um um always makeup but so i did my own makeup today um i've just done my hair so laid my edges and i had to wake up really really early because i also have a genius child parenting mastermind this morning so they'll see me all laid up before my <laughs> brand shoot so um that's what the morning is looking like my clothes are prepared um the 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 geography guys will be coming maybe in about two hours so um and he's my brother and so he stays really close so we know that that will be fine um he didn't have to move so far as you know like mr gerald um of gerald photography or olivia of Oz makeup would have had to travel and the good thing is my brother also does photography so my photography for the entire month of august will have been done by his company uribi group so yeah just in case you need a makeup artist clearly i'm i'm trying <laughs> but more seriously if you need a photographer or videographer who does both um Uribe group is your present so off to start my day and on how to balance the two um welcome to the month of august guys can you imagine thank you so much for the feedback that i got over the july 3rd um what's up to all the single ladies i recognized i saw you i felt you you guys are like you are a legit group of people and yeah you know what our meeting is still on for all the choleric all the choleric ladies get our meeting Saturday evening is movie night, so kids are going to go off to bed while Brian and I watch our movies. Yes. On Sunday morning, I woke up feeling like, oh my god, I miss Oz makeup. <laughs> I miss getting my makeup done because I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. I do my own makeup. Uh, but as usual, I just got my skin prepped and wore my sunscreen and then um, primed my skin with primer. And then after that, I worked on my eyebrows fast. After my eyebrows, I did <laughs> a forged eyeshadow because I don't know how to wear my own eyeshadow. And then I finished the look of working on my lashes and my eyelids. And well, it was a complete mess, but I think it turned out all right. I've been asked a couple of times how I get my makeup done, my everyday makeup. So maybe one day I will share. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see my forged makeup look and ensure that you're not a makeup artist because you're going to judge me. <laughs> but that said, why was I getting the makeup done? Well, we had a recording for Bump Love, like I shared with you. We're on season right now and we're recording season six of Bump Love. And here is what I looked like at the end. It's my attempt for a no makeup makeup look. And so that's why I have a nude look and feel with my makeup all the time. How do you think I did? 
Hi Rachel, hi Rosette, say hi to my people hi. on the vlog. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> It's Pumla's birthday today, so she can't be here. So how sad. We miss you already, Pumla. We miss Thank Pumla. You. Anyway, the guest is here. <laughs> bye bye. We we happy Sunday. <laughs> So we've introduced a new segment of Bump Love, which is called DIY. You guys are gonna love it, but it's a do-it-yourself kind of, you know, and it's essentially just to teach us more practical stuff because we can only talk for so long. So we're going to go a bit practical. And so for the shoot this weekend, as you're aware, I now shoot every Sunday for the next 13 weeks. So um, this Sunday I'm um, at the Chef where we're going to learn some really uh, can cool we snacks. This yes, we can, yes. Mr. Malondo. Mm -hmm. yes. See my cameraman. No. What's going on? My bunk mate. <laughs> anyway, anyway, this again, we because he this again, we have to make this thing work very well. Very well. Have you got a ball? The red ball. <laughs> Anywho, so I'm at the chef where we're going to do our first DIY, which is teaching you nutritious snacks to do at home. I am feeling so honored because. I mean, I'm learning and I am going to implement that one. I have to, I have to implement. Anyway, um, so we are, we're right now, we're right now, sorry, I'm just a bit distracted because I need to get into the, the call, the filming call. But anyway, so that's where I'm at right now. And um, yeah, that's, that's the recording. You didn't look at them in the right meeting. Oops. Oops. I'm not in the right meeting. I'm not in the right meeting. I'm not in the right recording. I mean, the recording for the next session. Okay. What's going on? Oh, I was in the right one. So, I'm so happy to be outside to wear my shades because they're so dirty. You need to clean them up. Anyway, I'm so glad that I can be wearing shades because, I mean, we've been inside the house. When do we wear our shades? Now. 